At any given zoom level on a map, map markers at a location may be so tightly clustered together that the map appears cluttered and difficult to readily understand. Without zooming in, clicking on the overlapping markers or distinguishing between them becomes nearly impossible. With clustering, map markers within a certain proximity to each other are clustered together so that instead of many overlapping markers, a cluster icon displays with a number on it that indicates how many markers are inside of it. Clicking on the cluster icon zooms in the map so that many, if not all of the markers in that cluster no longer overlap. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to enable clustering for Leaflet and understand the interface that is provided by this feature. To enable marker clustering on all the leaflet maps on our Drupal site, we'll need to download a few things. I'm on the project page for the leaflet marker cluster Drupal contrib module at drupal.org slash project slash leaflet underscore marker cluster. The first thing I need to do is download the marker cluster library from GitHub. There's a link provided here in the marker cluster description. So I'll go ahead and click on that, opening it up in a new tab. And here are the files for the marker cluster library. You can choose whatever download method you prefer. I'll go ahead and click on the download zip button, which is located in the right sidebar. I need to save this to my Drupal site in sites, all libraries. I'm going to save it outside of the leaflet library. So I'll go ahead and save the zip file here and we'll expand it in a moment. I'll click save. I'll navigate to where I've saved the zip file. In the root of my Drupal site, I'll navigate to sites, all, libraries, and I'll expand the zip file. Now I need to make sure that the path to the main JavaScript file the leaflet.markercluster.js. The path needs to be leaflet underscore marker cluster slash dist slash leaflet.markercluster.js. So that means I need to change this parent directory to be leaflet underscore marker cluster. And now that I've changed the name of that, the path is correct at sites, all libraries, leaflet underscore marker cluster, dist, and here's the JavaScript file. So I've got the path correct, and that's all I need to do to download this library. So now I have the leaflet marker cluster JavaScript library installed on my site correctly. I can discard this zip file and return to my site. Now I need to enable the leaflet marker cluster Drupal module. So I'll do that in terminal. I'll type drush en leaflet underscore marker cluster to enable and download this module. I'll follow the prompts and drush will download the project since it's not already on my site. So I'll type Y to do that. And now drush has downloaded the leaflet marker cluster contrib module to sites all modules leaflet underscore marker cluster and will now enable the module. So I'll type Y then enter. And now the leaflet marker cluster library is enabled for all maps using leaflet on my site. So now let's return to the site. And looking at this map of all locations, if I go ahead and refresh the page, Instead of these markers, which are all bunched here together and hard to access unless I zoom in, if I refresh the page, we can see the clustering take effect. Now, instead of a bunch of icons grouped together, there is a cluster with a number indicating how many markers exist in this general area. I can click on the 15, which tells me there are 15 markers in that area, and it continues to cluster based on proximity. So there are nine in this proximity. And as I hover over this cluster, you can see the area that it's referring to. I'll click to zoom in. And now we can see some of the locations are now accessible and some are still clustered together. And I can continue to zoom into the clusters to see these locations that are really close to each other. I can zoom out again and the clustering gets re-enabled. 
as I zoom out. Now this setting doesn't appear in the leaflet map settings. There's no UI for it. But for developers, if we go back to the project page, even though this module doesn't have a UI to set the marker cluster configuration parameters, you can set them through JavaScript or Drupal code. And for developers, you can see the README for more information about that. And just look under the heading for programmers to see what you need to do to set marker cluster parameters. In this lesson, we enabled map marker clustering on our leaflet maps. This was accomplished through adding the marker cluster JavaScript library to our Drupal site and enabling the Drupal contrib module leaflet marker cluster to enable integration with the new library. When enabling this library, all leaflet maps are affected and will use clustering. And while there is no UI setting for marker clustering, there are options available to developers which are documented in the module's README file. 